good afternoon to you, Desiree. Good morning to you. And of course, to our SABC viewers, well, as you can see here, uh, various protesters protesting in favor of ANC President Ramaphosa. I had requested them to actually tone down with their volume, but seemingly they're not interested in that. Uh, we are joined by two gentlemen, one who's protesting in favor of Ramaphosa and those who are protesting against. Before I like, come to Carl Newhouse, let's just take the conversation to Quena. Quena, so you have organized, you guys have organized this protest in favor of uh, President Sol Ramaphosa. Yes, we have organized this march in favor of Comrade uh, President Ramaphosa. This is a, a clear demonstration of the branches that have nominated Kumit Ramaphosa um, across the country. Um, we are here to, to support the president in terms of the report that has been released by the, the panel in parliament. Uh, we are totally disagreeing with the content of the, of the report by the panel. We are saying it is baseless and non-factual. And we, are, we however... Have you read the report? Yes, I did. I, I, did, I did read the report uh, in detail. And um, we, we are saying that um, the report does not speak to the, criminal, the criminality of anything against the president. But are you not worried that it casts a dark cloud over um, President Sol Ramaphosa? Because remember, he came on the tickets of accountability, of transparency, and he had said that he was going to fight corruption. Now you've got, uh, you know, this report which some have labelled as scathing and damning against the president. Yes. We, we, we are not anyhow against him um, accounting to the parliament. Uh, that, is a, that is a normal procedure in our uh, constitutional democracy. But however, we are saying the report that was released by the panel to bring him to the, to the parliament to come and account for something that never happened, a, 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 a report that is not factual, a report but, but that, is not, not that is not factual, binding. Because remember, there, there, there are facts, there's evidence there. There is no evidence in that report. The evidence is still with the law enforcement agencies. There's no one who knows what kind of evidence is going to be presented before the NPA should the NPA need that, that kind of evidence. Currently, we're just dealing with the hearsay, and then we're, we're therefore questioning the, the timing of the report. Why were they pushed to release the report so early before the conference? You, it was also followed by a bogus national, uh, national uh, executive committee that, that didn't follow the procedure. Why it was supposed to start with the top six, the national working committee and the NEC today. So this thing, all of it, was saying it is a political ploy against the president. It is uh, a process to remove him, not to stand and be elected in the, in the coming 55th national conference. So we are therefore, as branches that have nominated him across the country, says that report has got nothing to do with the president's criminality. It is a report that has got anything to do with the politicians. Who knows very well that they are appearing on that thing of the state capture and they don't want to be arrested because the president Ramaphos has now strengthened your SIU, have strengthened your NPA in order to have teeth and deal with the com our own comrades that have been found to have been uh, uh, fingered by by, by the uh, state capture. Are you not commission? worried, though, that uh, you, this, this dark cloud that's hanging over the president may have a bad, well, people at home, or just ordinary South Africans may say, but listen, the ANC is a party that actually is corrupt. Are you not worried uh, about the brand of the ANC, the image of the ANC to the ordinary South Africans? Look, much as we can say we are worried about uh, the brand of the ANC and the dark cloud, we are more than worried by our internal comrades who are cooking these things to deal with one of their own, not knowing that they are dealing with the African National Congress at large. So the comrades that are behind the, the Palapala issue are the ones that are damaging the ANC more than what we can see. And so we are not saying that uh, there should be some, some certain things that should, should clarify to the society. We will go to the society, we will consult with the society and clarify this, uh, this issue uh, to them. So that before we can go to 2024, this matter is, is, is totally... Uh, so you're saying this is a political ploy against It the is a political ploy, nothing else. So uh, I've seen you guys have been busy as saying that Ramaphosa must come back for a second term. Are you not worried that this may uh, somewhat have, you know, a bearing over his political future? Come, Nezrek. No, 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 no. Um, you see these comrades who are here. These are branch chairperson, secretaries and members of the BCs and members of the ANC in good standing and delegates. So he's coming so back. As de delegates of the African National Congress in their majority, over 2,000 of them are content that President Ramaphosa is coming back. Thank you so much. Let's also take this conversation to Carl Newhouse. He's outside here. He's protesting against uh, Ramaphosa and the Cape Coast. Uh, what do you have to say in reaction to uh, what Quenna just said to me? Well, I'm surprised to hear that this gentleman says 
that nothing had happened. Even Cyril Ramaphosa himself acknowledges that there was thievery on his farm, that millions of United States dollars were stashed away there. He even acknowledges that those monies had not been declared to the South African Reserve Bank and to the South African tax revenue. Therefore, the findings of the independent panel is of the greatest importance. Those findings show that there is a serious prima facie case to answer. And under the circumstances, we must insist that Cyril Ramaphosa must face that case and that he has to now step down in order to answer the serious case that he has against him. In order to do so, he cannot be the president of the African National Congress. I would have thought that President Ramaphosa would have had the presence of mind and the political consciousness to put the ANC first, to step aside now and to allow this matter to be resolved by the National Prosecuting Authority and by the courts. Unfortunately, he's showing himself to be very selfish. He is not interested in saving the ANC. He's only interested in his own situation. Therefore, I'm here, as I've done for many months now, to call on the National Executive Committee of the ANC, my fellow comrades, to do the right thing and to insist that Cyril Ramaphosa must step down. You see the kind of thuggish behavior that is happening here. This is the kind of supporters that Cyril Ramaphosa has. People who are thugs, who are supporting a thug, who are not prepared to allow freedom of speech, who are trying to shout me down, and who are not allowing me to state my case. A freedom of speech which I have fought for, which I have been a member of the African National Congress for 43 years, freedom of speech for which I served a nine-year prison sentence. It is a shame what these comrades are doing. It is a shame that Cyril Ramaphosa, through his selfishness, is allowing this situation to develop. This is not the image I want to see of the African National Congress. I want to see the ANC as a united organization. I want to see the ANC as the leader of society. But unfortunately, Cyril Ramaphosa's selfish conduct is leading to this situation. If he had any integrity, he would immediately have stepped down in order to avoid this very unfortunate situation that we are faced with now. Well, thank you so much. We will be you. catching up with you later on. Of course, Deja, you can see two opposing factions here. Those that are in support of Ramaphosa and, of course, uh, those that are not in support of Ramaphosa. Unfortunately, uh, I really can't even hear you because...